And before we go to break, we'll have a quick conversation about finding the path to maintaining a happy and healthy life. There's tremendous focus in the nation today on wellness. So we're bringing you part one of the Eldrum Health Wellness Series. We wanted to get an overall sense of what wellness should mean to you, so we talked to New York doctor Tara Allman. Everybody talks about wellness, but what is it? You know, that's such a complicated question, but I think wellness really incorporates overall physical and emotional health, and it's different at different ages. Such as? When you're a 20-something, you're mostly healthy, and you feel invincible. But actually, when you start to get into your late 20s and your 30s, things start to change for a lot of us. So what should we focus on to achieve a healthy lifestyle? The doctor has this to say. Well, we certainly have to make some choices about exercise and diet. For those of us who are drinking too much, we really have to start reducing that. And if any of us are smokers, we must quit immediately. We also discuss common obstacles to wellness. The list is long. Isn't lack of sleep one of the biggest problems that women in America have? Yes, especially as we women grow older. When you're a 30-something, I would say for a lot of us, career is the issue, raising young families is the issue, stress overall is the issue. And when you become a 40 or a 50-something, now you're going to introduce perimenopause and menopause into the equation. So in terms of your overall wellness then, I know there are certain wake-up calls that people will get, like... For women in their 30s, let's say, we start to gain weight and we can't lose it as quickly as we used to be able to when we were in our 20s. Hormonally, things are really changing and we have to make the changes. Our wake-up call is in our 40s so we can get to our 50s, 60s, and 70s with health. 